you, your excellencies, for the opportunity to participate in this conference and to share with you the progress and challenges with combating breast cancer and cervical cancers in Ghana. As women, we have a higher responsibility than our male counterparts to ensure that we combat the high incidence of these diseases. We also need to commit ourselves as women leaders to ensure that no woman dies as a result of a lack of presentable programs or out of ignorance. Your Excellencies, Ghana has comparatively higher cases of breast and cervical cancer. Most of these cases can be prevented with effective screening and early treatment. Statistics from the Ghana Health Service show that 7 million women are currently at risk of developing cervical and breast cancers in Ghana. At least 3,000 women are diagnosed with cervical cancer each year, with about 2,000 deaths. Cervical cancer therefore remains the most commonly diagnosed form of cancer in women in Ghana. Breast cancer, the second commonest cancer, forms 40% 40, 40 of female cancers in Ghana. Your Excellencies, breast and cervical cancers, as we know, are entirely preventable. But only a small number of urban and rural, get, rural women get screened for cervical cancer at least once every three years in Ghana. Mr. Chairman, Ghana has made important progress in combating breast cancer. My interactions with the managers of our health sector have revealed a number of other specific steps being taken to combat these cancers. The Ministry of Health has secured 4,000 doses of the APV vaccine for a pilot program. Findings from the pilot exercise will be used to develop a program for the entire country. The vaccination exercise started in February this year and is targeted at young girls who are yet to be exposed to sexual intercourse. Currently, primary prevention programs have included education on lifestyle modification and on reducing high risk sexual behavior among the targeted female group. Ghana has also made important progress in early detection and treatment of breast cancer. Clinical breast examination is frequently used as a mode of breast screening at various facilities and especially at family planning centers. Government recently procured and installed a mammogram at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, which is Ghana's leading teaching hospital in the capital, Accra. It is government policy to replicate this in all hospitals in the country. Your Excellencies, Ghana has prepared a national cancer registry and a strategic plan for prevention and control of cancers. This will provide policy standards and protocols for breast and cervical cancer screening, treatment of precancerous lesions, and management of invasive cervical cancer. Your Excellencies, despite these strategic actions, Ghana has some challenges which continue to affect prevention and treatment. These challenges include low public awareness about cervical cancer and its prevention, even among medical personnel. Late reporting health facilities, therefore most cases are advanced when discovered. Limited resources for screening, shortage of health personnel and lack of treatment guidelines. Service providers, on the other hand, have registration difficulties. This is because of a number of reasons including sociocultural beliefs and poor knowledge of breast and cervical cancer. The Ghana Health Service is yet to put in place a program for systematic screening. 
testing and treatment of female cancers. The service also lacks the capacity to manage large invasive cervical cancer comprehensively and radiotherapy is only available in two teaching hospitals. In Ghana, many women have never had pelvic examination. Government is therefore working on an effective screening program to tackle this challenge. Treatment is also expensive and not available in most health facilities across the country. In order to consolidate the progress made, Ghana is working on a national policy to increase the number of trained personnel for screening, increase awareness, reduce stigma, mobilize resources, ensure effective case management and data collection and management. Government under the National Health Insurance Scheme will continue to ensure timely access to treatment for breast cancer patients. This is very much in line with Objective 7 of Ghana's 2010 Healthcare Program of Work, which is to control non-communicable diseases, ensure their proper management, and promote healthy lifestyle. The government of Ghana has pledged to ensure that all cancer patients in the country receive adequate treatment. I will support the government so that together our vision for women will be realigned. Your Excellencies, we have no second chance to save the lives of breast and cervical cancer patients.